Nice. Oh, baby. I mean, it doesn't matter. We have them every which way. We'll do it for fun here. Yes. Sacrifice your creatures. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> I'm feel feeling very Liliana here. All right, welcome back. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today in the Pioneer Masters Early Access event, we are trying out Liliana Tribal with several new Lilianas from the uh, Pioneer Masters set. We have Liliana Vess, a five mana, five loyalty planeswalker. Target player discards a card for plus one, minus two, search your library for a card, then shuffle, put it on top, minus eight, put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Very cool. Then we have uh, the four mana Liliana of the Dark Realms. Kind of like, um, is it Koss? No, that's not right. That's not right. It's not Kane, it's not Koth. Koth. Koth, the red, the red, uh, the red planeswalker. You can plus one to search your library for a swamp card, reveal it, put it into your hand. You can minus three, target creature gets min plus X plus X, or minus X minus X, where X is the number of swamps you control. It's a little removal spell there. Uh, or you can minus six to get an emblem with swamps you control, have tapped to add four mana. Very cool. Then I think the last Liliana here that's new from, uh, yeah, it's this one. Liliana, heretical healer. Three mana, two, three with lifelink. It's a human cleric legendary creature. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, Exile her, then return her to the battlefield, transformed under under control. If you do, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Then this one's got plus two for each player to discard a card, a minus X to return a non-legendary creature with minus X from the creature to the battlefield, and a minus eight to get an emblem with whenever a creature dies, returns to the battlefield. Okay, that's a lot of text. Basically, we're doing Liliana Tribal. We are also trying to fit in as many zombies as we can. Like, we're definitely going to run four copies of the Slasher. We're also running four copies of Annex, just because this card's kind of ridiculous by itself. And then we're running a lot of zombies in the one and two drop slots. Look. If you wanted to make the best deck ever, probably you wouldn't lean into the zombies besides the slasher, and you just fill this out with like classic removal spells. But uh, for what it's worth, we're trying out the zombie thing. I think Liliana's Triumph is another sweet card. It's an instant speed. Opponent can sack a creature, and if you have a Liliana Planeswalker, they also discard a card. So that's quite a lot of value there. We got some Jadar to pump out zombies. We got some Crypt Breakers to tap your zombies to draw cards. Uh, some Tainted Adversary to pump out multiple zombies. Some Zul Ashur Lich Lord to cast zombies back from the graveyard. There's some other things I tried out here today, but they're not going to be my final version, which I'm showing you, because ultimately I was like, all right, let's get the Slasher and the Annex in there. It's too good not to, and then we'll just use whatever's left to fit in more zombies enjoy the gameplay let's dive right in on the play yeah we can keep this we'll make it work and it's tapped karuga i just played this again this is like wild right why are we seeing so much of this i feel like i played a different person though am i crazy two or mother or more other lands. I think I'd rather get the Reaper in there. Okay, swing for two. I don't know if to play a creature, but we'll find out. I just played this. I swear it was a different user. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Fourth land. We probably just have them sack the creature here. Okay, down to 13. Dragonlord Atarka. When it enters, you'll fight damage you choose among any of our target creatures or planeswalkers or opponents control. Fight rigging. Alright, so there's a 6-6 uh, a six, six coming soon. Well, I don't know if there's much we can do about that. We don't think it's reanimator. Okay. Down to eight. Let's see what's coming. We can get back Murderous Rider or the uh, Lich Lord. Overlord is the creature. It's a 6 5 with fight rigging. Let's see what that. Come on. Whiff, baby. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. They could just surveil, though. Okay. Now what? I mean, Death Touchers can get in there. Minus three, minus three isn't bad. I think we can attack all, actually. Make this work. Actually, let's see. 
No, we can't kill the creature without playing Liliana. Alright, let's give him the old attack Olsies. Nice. Not so bad. Huh? Keep Kiki Cheeky. Okay. To four. Lose a life. Draw a card. Interesting. I think we want to mill here. Actually, we don't even need to. We can Liliana first. And then just minus, I think. I mean, we might want to kill the Geeky Jiki, honestly. I was planning to kill uh, the Overlord, but um, maybe it's this. I don't know if we can really afford for them to play some random creature and copy it. And we can return... Oh, you just have lifelink. Yeah, like the Midnight Reaper or something. I mean, this is a good blocker this turn. Okay. Pretty cool turn. And we can use the Crypt Breaker to tap all three after blocks. Okay, let's see what's on top, dude. Yes, excellent. More land. Okay, let's see what's on top. I think we're very close to winning here. If they can gain life, we'll be pretty sad. It's hidden underneath. We move to combat. Okay, let's see it. Unexpected results. Nice. That is not the end of the world. I think we got him then, basically. Tap land, surveil. Should be too little too late. We have exactly four damage without even using any planeswalker abilities. Tap, tap, tap. Smith three. Nice. Oh, baby. I mean, it doesn't matter. We have them every which way. We'll do it for fun here. Yes. Sacrifice your creatures. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> I'm feel feeling very Liliana here. All right. We don't need to belabor the point. We swing for lethal like a gentleman. We do not cast a bunch of random stuff or up the planeswalkers. The game is over. It's okay. We move on. On the play, it looks okay to me. We'll figure it out. Land. Teamer again. I actually don't understand. Is there some like deck going around somewhere? Live stream? If it's the same deck I just played twice in a row, I'm gonna be really confused. No, might be different. Have not seen this card before. Uh yeah, you can sack a creature. Goodbye, no ramping for you. 18. We run 26 land. So we're going to hit some more land soon. Just not yet. Nope, that ain't it. Okay. Sad deck. No land. Let's hope they tap out for a creature. Nope. We still do uh, literally nothing here. Discard a card. Make a black zombie creature token. I guess we do that. Just to freaking feel alive here. Who do we discard? I mean, you're very expensive for sure. I guess we just take the most expensive card. We don't seem to... Yeah, yeah, let's just do it like this. It is a land. And we can bolt it in. To, I guess, cast the Colossus, which is not very impressive by itself. Maybe we just draw. Let's try just you. Okay. And we can tap some zombies and keep drawing. I think that's better than anything else we can be doing. Six mana. Bring to light. Everyone's obsessed with this card. Searching your library. Pretty good. Especially if it's a sweeper. What do we got? Make your own luck. They are setting up here. Your... 
Okay, we got seven damage presented currently. I feel like this card is not that good against them. I don't know how good pressure is. But I think we'll try it. We could keep taking draws with the Crypt Breaker. Drop to seven. Let's just hope, like, uh, you know, we mill something here. Nope. Okay. We have good removal spells against creatures. So it's more like, are they going to sweep here? I just don't think the discard is like, going to be that good. Because they have essentially infinite cards, so they'll just discard a land off that. Okay, that's a lot of cards in hand. Seven mana open. Genesis Ultimatum. Let's see how hard that hits. They also go up to ten, which is important. Hmm. Well, protection from instance. That's quite unfortunate. So they use our own Murderous Rider against us. Or rather, they use Lilana's Triumph against us, and then we can't kill it with our instant Murderous Rider. That's not so good. Oh, they didn't cast it, I guess? Oh, that's interesting. But we actually can't get through because we can't, uh, we can't instant this one, and we can't target that one, so we can't just have him sack anything here. What else can we do? We really don't have a great, a great solution here. We could take a draw, I guess? This Hexproof is like a huge pain in the ass. Actually, Death Touch does solve it. So let's, if they block, Okay, we begin here, but they don't have to block, which is the issue. And they shouldn't block. Oh, they might, though. That would let us Liliana's Triumph after combat. That'd be huge. They're thinking about it. They're touching things. Nope. Okay. I think we take a draw next. I mean, we're not blocking anything. As long as we don't get to lethal here. Land is not it. Point it to six. I mean, they are low. We could just play a lot of threats. But I think that's kind of weird. I think we're going to go with one Liliana's Triumph. We just have nothing to do with Murder Strider right now. Oh boy. Okay. So we have a super wide board. Um, we haven't seen a sweeper yet, which is weird. And they didn't cast Ember Quill, so they didn't take control of us. Red 17, maybe they can find a win, way to win here. I honestly don't know. Like some hasty giant creature. 13 to the face, down to four. What else you got? Like bounce it and replay it or something? Wow. Okay. Well, that is game. We have no ability to instant speed. Uh, <laughs> They're going to draw cards for us? That's cute. Are uh, they trying to impale us? All right. Fine. Whatever. Double Emmer Cool. You got it. On the play, we keep this. Let's go. It's a fast creature land. We got a Crypt Breaker on one. It's going to be all good. Golgari. Right, I think it's just the two drop here. And then do we go Slasher or Annex is the question. When it drops a 17, say its name, Mill 3 Atraxa. I kind of want to say we need to win quick. I think it might be Slasher time. Feels like their end game is going to be a bit stronger than ours. Like maybe like Slasher this turn and then Hive soon after. To 14. They need to stop the slasher quite soon. That doesn't do it. Down to 13. Ramp. That's interesting. I mean, we could get the hive in there. It's not quite lethal though, right? No, maybe it's close enough actually. Maybe we can still play you out, right? Let's see. This is pay two and tap. No, we can't do that.
Do we not have enough? Oh shit, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. I guess we can't do that. Alright, we're just getting in there. Alright, down to four. But we can't find lethal yet. Um, the hive is very close. And flipping the demon does give us a win con also. So let's see what they can muster here. Tap land's a good start. Soul Flare. I don't know what that does. It's got all these words on it. Let's see. Vigilance Flying. Death Touch Lifelink. So they'll go up four. But I think we still can find lethal just with the hive. Two mana is open here. We can still play out this, I guess. I think we should get him here, though. Alright. Attack all button. They block here. They go up four to eight. They take two, three, four, five, six, seven. They actually drop to one. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem like it. Binding. Drop to three. Take out the slasher. Okay, that'll do it. Still death touch trades. Opponent at two, we draw a card. Now if we just flip the annex. We also win that way. Beanstalk. We still have the hive. It's a lot of threats to deal with. Painland. Good game. Good game. On the play, we can keep this. Got some zombies in the house. Land, go. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, exile Liliana, return to the battlefield, and create a zombie. Oh boy. It's, uh... Simic? Here we go. It's a zombie. Let's go. Surveil, what are we doing here? What's going on? Nothing is what we're doing. Alright, bottom for two. Nice. Fable. We only control one zombie. Eh. I mean, ideally we kill this thing, but if they have removal, it's not so good. Well, I think we're just getting in there. Unfortunately, they get the treasure. I don't know what else to do. We only have one zombie. So we're just plusing. Mill, a whole bunch of lands. That's okay. Didn't want those anyway. Shock. Unexpected result. Shuffle your library. I don't even, I didn't even get a chance to read that card. Reveal the top card. It's a non-light card. You may cast without paying the mana cost. Are you kidding me? Did that dude just shuffle his library and pick that from off the top? pretty bogus okay ay 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 I guess we're milling again I mean we can get him with death touch at least which isn't so bad let's start with the mill okay let's get him with death touch Okay. They do get some life there. We flipped the Liliana. The undead make great minions. Loyal and we could make the Death Touch blocker again. I guess that's fine. We also get the Crypt Breaker? No, I feel like we need the Death Touch blocker. Let's do this first. For two? Death touch? Hopefully it survives. Land. Hmm. And uh, now we have another issue. They can start copying the 6-6 six, six next turn. I can't believe they picked that off the top, right? That's crazy. 
unexpected. I mean, it was an unexpected result. I'll tell you that. I did not expect that result. Well, that's not good. That's not what you want to see. Nope. 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 Okay. Lovely. 20 life. Are you kidding me? I feel like they were down to like nine a second ago. All right. I'm feeling like this is close to game here. Well, it's not so bad, actually. We can kill the OG. It's not the end of the world. Death touch to you. It's not a token. It is a token. Can you block? You could block, too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll block this guy. Let's get him. Okay. One Liliana down. Kiki Jiki left over. Can they copy this thing somehow? I feel like they're going to copy it again. What are you doing with three mana, man? What's going on over there? Insta? Good. Something else is happening. I don't know what. Been a land. Okay. Well, we can plus two. You've reached an undead end. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting back a zombie next turn. So I think we just go no attacks here. Try to defend the Liana. Minus, spit out some more zombies. Lord knows, three, four, five, six, seven mana. They'll play something random. And uh, copy it. Seems good. Can we beat this? Dude, that's haste. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. We don't have enough mana to do everything I want to do. Decayed creatures can't even block, right? Hmm. I mean, it's really not going that great for us, I'll tell you that. Maybe it is the Lich Lord? Two? I mean, they can make a whole bunch of copies every turn. I think it's just two here. Death touch. We don't have any more mana to pump morph into it. Uh, I don't know, man. It's not looking good here. That's a card. They can give it haste. Oh, God. Get me out of here. I don't want to see that. I'll leave. Thank you. Goodbye. On the draw, it's okay. We got the annex in the house. The mult is six. Let's see if they're secretly bant. Ooh, I don't know what they are. Truth charm. Search library for creature or land. Put it on the battlefield and tap if it's a land. Otherwise, it goes to hand. Sylvan scrying. Search library for a land card. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. My goodness. Oh no, it's this deck. This deck is just a waste of everyone's time. I don't think they're going to have a creature to sack. But we can do this anyway. Just in case. Okay, there it is. If they start wasting our time, we're just going to scoop. Um, Just don't need to spend our, our precious time doing that. We'll annex up. They're going to have no creatures. They're just going to do some kind of infinite combo. And then um, Thassa's is Oracle. But it's going to take forever, which is the issue. Discarding cards off Liliana could be good. That could piss them off enough that they quit. Unless they just have enough mana to start doing it all now. Okay, so they net up one there. They can't just run out of gas. It's just a huge waste of our time. That's new. What does this thing do? Whenever a permanent entering causes a triggered ability to trigger, counter that ability unless it pays two. Alright, I don't think that really matters too much. I'm just gonna lay on a plus. Let's play a game. We'll drop a land, that's fine. I don't know if the awakening will be useful or not. So Liliana's Triumph is pretty good next turn. We discard most of their hand. And that might be enough to get them to scoop, basically. Let's do it twice. Discard almost their entire hand. 
They're not going to like that, I don't think. Makes their draws much worse, right? They don't have backups in hand. They're going to whiff. They're going to hit land. Because if we get another turn here on green, that's interesting. Okay, search out for creature land. Maybe I don't know what they're doing. Fay of Wishes. Hmm, three mana. Fourth mana, they can go get something now. But we can have them discard their entire hand shortly. Hidden strings, they keep going. Okay, Emergent Ultimatum. Maybe you can win off that. This is a new take on it. This deck is definitely a huge waste of time. That much I know for sure. They do get to emerge an ultimatum. Alright, let's see what we can get. I don't want them to get this. I really don't want them to get that. Can they cast this? They only have one mana open here, right? They cast the other two for free. I think Peer into the Abyss is not the one you want. Cast that for free to get their entire deck, right? Maybe they can whiff off this other sequence. I guess I can search the library for it anyway. Okay. The problem is not that they have a cool combo. The problem is the combo takes forever. So we scoop. It's um, a waste of our time. And a waste of your time, because you guys want to watch the video too. But this isn't fun for you. It's not fun for anyone. All right, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed this zombie Liliana video and you want to support the channel, you can leave a like, you can uh, subscribe, and you can leave a comment. I'm tired. This is my last video of the night. I'll pick up with Masters tomorrow. Uh, I only have 24 hours to do it before it expires. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.